Hello and welcome to day 25 of Mary's Magical Flossmas, where today is the last day that I'm opening a present from the Black Needle Society, the Niceless Box. We are here, we have reached the finish line. I have no idea what could possibly be in this package. I've never seen them use this size of a package or this kind of a package. Um, and I've watched a lot of unboxings so I really have no, no idea. Oh, look, you can see my dad. Hi, dad. Um, okay, I guess we'll see. It's Christmas Eve. We're watching Love Actually. We just put out all the, I just put out all the presents. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I need to know who this is by. Uh, Winter Wonderland Silk Hank Duo by Silks For You. Merry Christmas. Use these hanks of silk on an extra special project this winter. Wow. Okay, first of all, silks, how amazing. Second of all, look at these colors. And this is a pretty good representation of what these colors look like in person. This one looks like it is all purple. And this one, just look at these colors. I've never had a Hank before. Um, so I feel like I need to go do a modern folk embroidery maybe. <laughs> or like a long dog or something. Holy cow. This is so much floss. This is really cool. Um, wow. So I messaged the Black Needle Society, Katie, Laura, and Athena, and I told them how much I loved the uh, Christmas Carol book that we got yesterday. And Athena was like, just you wait, we still have one more day. <laughs> this is really cool. So with opening this, what is your guys' favorite thing that was opened? I really love the Christmas Carol book. Like that was, that's so unique, really different. It just, it, that, I, that whole idea, super cool. Um, I, oh, I really loved the Polar Express project bag. Um, what else was a really big, a standout for me? Oh, the blanket. The blanket was a huge standout. We've used it every day, every day since then. Um, so that was definitely, um, a good one. I'm, I have an audience member who's making noise. I'm making sure you can't see his reflection in the background. Um, <laughs> we did, because I had a couple people ask, we did just try the clotted cream fudge that came on the 17th day. And it was really interesting. They're very good. They're very rich. They have the, the taste of a caramel, but the texture of fudge. Really good. Um, I have a feeling Brett will probably eat all of them. Um, what else? Oh, and I really liked the reindeer floss cards. Those were super cute. I really liked this advent box. I always feel like when I watch not just the Black Needle Society, but other advent boxes or mystery boxes or when I get them myself, there's always things in there that you you either don't use or they just kind of sit around or like maybe you think you're going to use them but you really end up not. I have to say this is one of the first times where I feel like I could use every single thing in this box. Um, I really, really enjoyed opening this. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed the daily videos. Um, really enjoyed all the comments you guys left and the questions asking about all these things. 
Anything that is left over will be in the vault on January 1st. And that will be the first day that my code works in the vault. So if you wanna save, I wanna say it's like 5%, use my code ashcraft5 at checkout when you are purchasing from the vault. So starting January 1st, it's not just for subscriptions, it is also for the vault, which is an awesome, awesome deal. Um, wow, our last day, this is so cool. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for these, I feel like it's gotta be something big, right? Um, like a long dog or a modern folk embroidery. Um, I'm trying to think of who else has a lot of like monochromatic. I should go watch um, Shiloh's channel, um, rewatch some of her videos, see some that she's done. Shiloh um, X Stitch MD. She does a lot of like one color patterns. Um, maybe I'll go check out hers and see see what she's got going on. Um, so that is it. Tomorrow is Christmas. Uh, I hope everybody had a great Christmas Eve and has a great Christmas day. Um, we just finished cleaning up and putting out all the presents. Um, I am kind of went a little overboard maybe. Um, this is definitely, I have a, a very specific memory of I want to say it was like my sixth Christmas, my sixth or seventh Christmas. And it was when I got my first American Girl doll, but it was like my dad had gotten a bonus at work, which like never happened. And he basically gave it to my mom and said, go wild on Christmas. And she did. <laughs> and I just remember, I have very vivid memories of just like not being able to see the floor. Um, we we do not go that hard here with our children because we do buy them things throughout the year and so christmas is just another day you just happen to get more presents um i am particularly proud however of one wrapping situation that i did um i love to wrap everybody in my family loves to wrap presents my brother and I specifically have a thing about wrapping oddly shaped presents, um, not just boxes. And we try not to put things in boxes to make it easier to wrap, right? So the kids are getting baby dolls because they we only have one and they always fight over it. So I got them twin babies. One has a pink outfit, one has a blue outfit. And um, so I was debating how I wanted to wrap them because I didn't want to keep them in the box and wrap the box because I didn't want them to think it was a present for just one of them. I wanted them to know it was a singular present for each of them. Um, so I did a wrapping paper swaddle <laughs> because this is a gift from S-A-N-T-A. Um, I'm really proud of this. I took a picture and I'm gonna send it to my brother in the morning. Um, I'm very proud of this, this baby swaddle wrapping paper. Um, what else? Just making a turkey tomorrow and uh, just hanging out. Don't really have any plans. Oh, Christmas tree lane. Uh, Fresno has Christmas, a couple different Christmas tree lanes, but the one that we go to specifically, um, is, uh, Christmas tree lane. And so it's like these gigantic mansions and they like go all out and it's like the entire street and it's several blocks long. And so you drive through it. Um, and they used to have walking nights, but they don't have those anymore because of COVID. So, um, we started doing that last year because every time we would remember to do it it was always after christmas um so we started doing it last year and we did it on christmas day so i think we're gonna try again to go on christmas day um because it's it's so much fun the lights i mean the electricity bill must be outrageous for this month because 
there are so many lights it's ridiculous and one house in particular which is towards the end of the the end of it we saw them setting up uh like the day after thanksgiving or something like that and <clears throat> the number of storage bins that they had outside, like nothing like I'd ever seen. So um, we are excited for that. And I'm excited for the kids to wake up and lose their mind. Amelia, this is like I said yesterday, this is really the first Christmas that Amelia gets it. And um, Jackson doesn't get it. He's only 20 months, but he is going to love tearing into everything. So I'm excited to watch it all and I'm excited for Brett to open his presents because I don't tell him, but I get him. <laughs> he has no idea. Uh, so I'm excited. Um, so I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful new year. I will see you again for my whip parade uh, next week. And, um, and we will go from there. So thank you for joining me every day this month. This was so much fun. Uh, and who knows, maybe I'll do it again next year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.